Hello. The COVID-19 crisis has seen huge changes in how people interact with each other, both socially, at work and as families. As the pandemic restrictions become less stringent, um, politicians talk about the new normal. They're effectively saying that our usual way of life has changed, that we won't go back to exactly the same as we were before the pandemic. In some ways that'll be good news and in some ways maybe not so good. So this talk comes about from a couple of articles I've read. The first is about um, how we can learn from the Dutch about working from home and the second is uh, from a survey of 1500 people in the UK about their work-life balance since lockdown and their hopes for the future. Before that though I just want to share a, a tweet I read that made me laugh about socialising under the new normal. Uh, the tweet read, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of paying 70 pence for a pint of beer and drinking it in the comfort of my own home. I can't wait to spend five pounds for a pint and to drink it in a crowded pub full of noisy people shouting at each other so I can't hear my own friends, listening to music I can't stand with a TV playing a show I don't like. Back to work though. Uh, for me, I spend my, my working day in front of a laptop um, at home, either in a virtual classroom with students who are on the whole fairly quiet, um, but mostly still keen to learn. Um, I also try and supervise my own children who are studying at home. And thankfully, they're pretty good at their, at their studying. I have a few social Zoom or Facebook chat with friends and colleagues. I guess on the whole, I've got myself a fairly nice routine. Uh, working from home is not so bad. And I would like to spend, I think, some time working from home in the future. Certainly my dog has never been so happy with all of his humans around all day. And it seems that the, for the vast majority of people, um, they feel the same way. According to this survey of 1500 people, only 13% want to return to the same ways of working as before the lockdown. Those who can work remotely would prefer to work at home more, spending a maximum of three days in the office. A majority think, that, think that their employers will embrace the idea of working from home. And indeed, some companies um, like major banks, uh, such as Barclays, and some tech companies like Twitter, have suggested that they will keep the option of remote working for many staff. Uh, the advantages of home working for the companies uh, can be summarised, I guess, as follows. Firstly, there are reduced office space costs. Uh, fewer people in the office means that a smaller space is required. Second is better staff retention. Uh, giving staff flexibility is a great way to keep your best members of staff. Thirdly, environmental benefits, so there's less traffic going to and from work, and there's potential energy saving at work. Fourth is better staff morale, because they are happier with the flexibility of working from home. And fifth, there's a wider pool of talent available to companies, as they can start to employ people who are uh, long distances from their head office, who wouldn't normally apply if, if that job meant moving home or traveling very long distances to work. Uh, for the employee, remote working offers a little bit more flexibility of when to work. So for example, I can cook a, a nice meal at lunchtime. I can help my children with their, their schoolwork. I can even pop out to the shops. Uh, and then I can continue to work a little bit later into the evening. Uh, I should also add that not commuting to work uh, saves me two hours a day, which I can spend doing other things. Like I said, my dog has never been so happy, um, at least in part because of his longer walks. However, home working doesn't necessarily work well for everybody, um, in particular parents whose children are at home. Some, some reports in this survey suggest that many working parents are finding the balance between work and looking after their children, plus the schooling, very difficult to manage. There are also concerns that if you're not physically in the office, then the prospects of advancement at work, getting promotion, do seem to be lower. Um, 
Andre Spicer uh, suggests that home workers tend to be overlooked for promotions um, and employees do like to be seen to be doing useful things by their bosses. Another argument against home working is that we may lose some of the meaning to what we do for a living, actually going to work and being with people who do the same or similar jobs helps to keep us sane and gives us some variety to life. We wear different clothes to work, perhaps. We see different people um, from our home environment and that, that's good for our health. So it seems then that a mixture of home and office working would be the best solution with the choice of going to the office five days a week for those who wish to, uh, but also the choice of going in maybe two or three times a week for those that would prefer some home working. And if that is the case, how can office workers, obviously this only applies to office workers and not those in manufacturing or retail. So how can those office workers uh, make the best use of their time at home? Uh, so what can we learn from the Dutch? The Dutch have 14% um, of their workforce working from home compared to just 5% in the UK. So uh, next we'll look at that. So firstly, and probably most obviously, um, to work from home, a quality broadband internet is required. Uh, that's high speed. And certainly the Netherlands does provide that apparently. Uh, since March, when the UK went into lockdown, I've had just one afternoon where my internet connection crashed and it was the same for the whole of the area where I live. So there was no work done on that day. Uh, secondly, is a, a designated workspace within the home um, that is comfortable, importantly. Office desks and chairs are designed to keep you comfortable. The position of the screen, the keyboard and the mouse are important. Sitting as I normally do on a settee with my feet up on a stool and a laptop perched on my lap is not ideal. Um, sitting at a dining room table as I am now is also far from ideal because it's quite a bit higher than a, an office desk would be. So ideally companies would provide employees with a budget to make their home working space comfortable and productive. Um, and that happens in many Dutch companies. A researcher called Nauta, an organisational psychology professor at the University of Leiden, says that companies need to trust their employees more. Um, and apparently Dutch culture has that level of trust required. Um, and that means trust that employees are, are working hard and are doing the right thing. In addition, according to uh, Bart Gota, a psychologist based in uh, Amersfoort, the physical infrastructure of towns and cities is also important. Um, in, in the Netherlands, that infrastructure is conducive to remote working. Uh, libraries, for example, and coffee shops uh, provide places where people can go to continue their work if they want to get out of the house. Uh, and these places provide a, a social space where people can interact with each other um, when they feel that working from home is becoming quite a lonely experience. So in conclusion, uh, the new normal may well involve more working from home um, for office based people. But that is not something that can just happen successfully just because we've managed it for the last three or four months. Uh, many people are finding home working very difficult for reasons of lack of space, uh, distraction from other people and poorer health, either due to inappropriate furniture, so their physical health, or through a lack of social interaction, which affects their mental health, which workplaces can help with. So thank you.